Covenant Education Toolkit Session 5 Overview. Session 5 of the Covenant Education Toolkit includes two presentations that can be used for reflection and study within the life of the three expressions of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. It can be used in small groups, Sunday school classes, devotions for committee and team meetings, and constituency group studies. The first presentation, A Want to Church, invites congregations and participants to renew your yes to live into covenantal relationships. The Want to Church reflection is a takeaway from the small group presentations at our general board meeting held in February of 2020. This was our last in-person meeting before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. The general board used the theme of covenantal relationships throughout that week to contextualize our worshipful work as disciples seeking to understand the term covenant, which is one of our identity principles found in our preamble to the design of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. We rejoice in God, maker of heaven and earth, in God's covenant of love, which binds us to God and one another. Isn't that exciting? During our time together, each small group shared their understanding of covenant as it relates to where we have been as a denomination, where we are, and where we must go in the future to live into covenantal relationships. Some groups focused on identity and others focused on what we need to be doing as the body of Christ. The conversations revealed a transparency in our need to face and embody covenantal practices. They reflected the ache in our hearts and a desire to hand down to a new generation, a thriving, growing, and transforming denomination. So yes, it is truthful and real, revealing the thoughts of participants who love the Christian church, disciples of Christ, enough to speak the truth even when it hurts. The descriptors of a want to church, i.e. living grace-filled uh, grace lives, supporting the church, and holding to the covenant of Yahweh are only specific to the work that was completed at the general board meeting. And so I encourage you to use your imagination and creativity to contribute to this wanting by reflecting on the want to church presentation. Take it to heart. Consider it as you think of the ways that your congregation region, general unit, or constituency understands covenantal relationships. And when we say yes to becoming a want to church, what's next? Well, the second presentation encourages and empowers disciples, congregations to encourage in covenantal practices within the denomination and wider community. It outlines a list of practices through actions and presence, communal imagination and conversation, recognition and celebration, Bible study, finance and budgets. Yes, there are a variety of gifts that we can use to embody covenant, covenantal relationships. The list of covenantal relationship practices is a starting point for faith communities to further engage theologically, culturally, ethnically, and ecumenically. Some practices are broad enough to help account for the ways we can live faithfully into covenantal relationships. Consider those practices that create within you an aha moment of wonder and imagine the new possibilities for recognizing God through covenantal relationships. Take an inventory of what your congregation, region, general unit, or constituency group is already doing well, and then challenge each other to lean into and consider those practices that would exemplify 
a want to church. And I pray that your takeaway would be yes, individually, communally, and corporately. Because in Jesus Christ, every one of God's promises is a yes. Have fun.